yeah hi everyone welcome back so yeah in the last video i've seen i've done the basic setup and we were able to execute the sample tests and now first let's explore uh web driver i use documentation what it has what are the details available because we are going to heavily depend on the documentations when the new version comes right uh, the video we create or we have blocks may become stale because that will be in the specific version that we are going to use but this official website will be always up to date with their latest changes so i suggest everyone to have always look on the official documentation read it through get used to it so let's start this is the first main home page where you have the basic details what is your driver io what you know it supports um, e2e and their sample then we have you know how you can do the setups i think this is uh, probably the old command with when there was a beta but yeah we already have seen how to do the setup and there's a you know sample just screenshot then we have some sample of web driver talks there are community supports who does uh create in a different way or contribute in different way by creating videos or coding the you know talking in the conference or you know contributing the code this is one of the example then we have a Google Lighthouse integration and how you can do that basic setup. So this is just pretty much about in the home page yeah. and then who is using WebDriver IO. So if you see from the beginning, Google, Netflix, Microsoft, SAP, all these, you know, big companies, they, you know, it's been using WebDriver IO now. Let's go to the first menu, uh, documentation to read it through. Getting started, we have already seen how we do the setup, basic initial setup, how we can do in the first video itself. So let's skip this part. Then if you read why WebDriver again, you can read through why we are using WebDriver IO or what and all. It helps you to support what it can achieve, what it can do. So these all are details are available. Then there's a community or the people who are using WebDriver IO, they are creating, you know, GitHub projects and they are pushing their code. If you feel that you have done something unique and that can help others, you can always have it added here also. So those kind of repositories are listed here where you have sample boilerplate projects. You can just click on the link and then you can explore their repository, right? So these are, these are the boilerplate projects available. Then you have core concepts where are the basic setup types, how we can, what are the automation protocols, multi-remoting, auto-weightings, how we can handle the weight, what are the strategies that you should be considering. Then we have a configuration. Configuration in the sense, what configuration? We have a binary driver binaries, what binaries you can use. Chrome driver, we have a Geekko driver, we have, uh, and, and there we have Edge, Safari. Uh, these are the configurations that we have, how you can do the capability setup, bevel setup, TypeScript setup, right? So you can read through. Then we have a guide of how you can handle a few things. For example, how you can use selectors, how you can do the accessibility testing, mocks, custom command, how you can create your own custom commands, how you can handle the page object design pattern, how you can do the debugging. There's a REPL interface and how you can record the test. We're going to uh, see this in detail again in the later videos, how you can record your test from the uh, Chrome and then you can utilize that as your script. Then we have a test runners, multiple runners. We have a configuration file. What are the frameworks, assertions, basic assertions, web driver that supports custom report or custom services. Component testings, which is introduced in this latest version eight. So these are the details in the component testing. Then how you can migrate from these are pretty old uh, version five to six. I think we all are already moved from version five to six. But uh, every time some migrations happen or changes happens, you it will help us the documentation how you can migrate. For example, protector was deprecated, and there is a detailed documentation how you can migrate from protector to the web driver io or because sync mode is upgraded now how you can move from sync to a sync this is a doc detailed documentation available then there are some uh, integrations are available with the cloud services for the docker github actions jenkins bamboo you can just all we can do and again we are going to see these setups for example github uh, actions we'll see how we can do the github action and the docker setup in the later videos reporters we all use a reporter in the test automation and there are plenty of options available in the web driver io we have all these options and we can just explore uh heavily use this i always say uh, always reporter but with mocha framework mocha some report is also there so if possible i'll try to include mocha some reporter in the later videos probably and then there are other videos you can just read it through how you can do it has all the configuration for example alio report it has given you how you can do the setup how you can install where you need to configure and different options available then we have a services, Appium services. If you want to use browser stack, you want to use cross browser, or you want to use installing standalone, or, or there are like mock services and all you want to use eco driver services. You can just 
almost everything that you require is available here you can just read it through go through explore it and that's why you should get used to it when you just start exploring you whenever you require something you don't find that first come to the official documentation search for it and then if you don't find then you can go in and return it and then i'll ask the people but yeah start looking from the first search should be here because you have almost everything you require is available here obviously not all the problems but the basic things that you require you'll get here then on the second option is api and in the api the, we have different protocols available webdriver io by that protocol appium protocol and all and then um when we are using browser what browser objects are available for example uh, you know fetch element multiple element single element what are the action commands available how we can you know with browser what commands are available that is there and then with how you can perform action in automation you find the element you perform action on the element what actions you can perform you can exp you can expand and read it through all these options you know how you can add the value how you can click the element how you can get html or how you can handle display or how you can move to element or how you can handle weight or shadow root elements shadow dom elements everything is all those elements are available and with a sample for example how you can use this how your estimate should look like or how you can handle in the test for almost everything the detailed documentation is there for this element this is a mock services here how you can use the mocks assertions available uh, different assertions in in the web driver that has to offer global objects these are the few global objects available browser driver multi-reporting and fetching the elements and expect these are the global environment variable and then models different models available so yeah this is about api then blogs if you're writing any blogs which is related to a driver you can always add it here if something is informative and help and helping the community uh, we recently got the version at least and christian has written a driver i version 8 released uh, here the documentation then there are other documentation as well which is you know like if you have something useful obviously for the people then contribute we all are using yeah so we all are using webdriver io and we should be you know trying to contribute in a different possible ways for example you can contribute to the code talk about it create some videos write some logs or in the conference any way possible so there is a detailed documentation how you can contribute how you can find a way to contribute right so there are different options available probably you can just raise a bug or help in fixing the bug you know so different ways and we all should try to find because we are using it then community support the last tab uh, you know like if you need any help you can reach out to these people there is an office hours available where you can get the support you can just click and book the calendar then we have a team there's a team uh, behind all the you know great things that we are getting or the benefits you're getting from the web driver io this is the team that has been doing the great job so you can just see their names you can follow them in the twitter there are github links available resources uh, as it's an open source there are a community and the people are you know creating different things uh, or, or the videos or any different possible ways people are supporting already and this is the example or the resources where you have the support available for example if you have plugins research and training videos you can click on it um, you have a document older version documentations community link we have a stack overflow Gitter channel or still in slack channel tweeters you can follow these you know folks who has been creating and has been actively involved in doing all this or creating this web driver or your new functionalities or everything that they are managing then we have different plugins available for the services this has been done by community you can use that there are different reporters again miscellaneous that have been used it's not categorized research and training uh, this is a article that was published by ross then there are videos that has been created by community members you will see the automation web driver io by julia then we have our software testing and for automation bro kevin uh, his courses are available then uh, you have this is one of my video which i have contributed with the web driver io and cucumber framework which i was talking in the first video so this is the link that has been given and then there are conference and all that is if you have conference if you talk about in, in any conference you can just give them a link here and then you can add get it added yeah so yeah pretty much about the documentation and yes in the main menu you have what is the current uh, browser version that is available version 8 currently we are using github link so if you click on it in the new tab yeah this is your github of the web driver io currently we have a seven pull request on 47 open issues you can you know always find a way to contribute then this is a twitter link and this is currently in the daylight mode you can switch the mode you can go in dark mode and this one search options 
anything you need just click in the search for example um i want allure i had an example here so you can search with allure okay how you can handle windows search with the windows and you'll have how you can handle windows right or anything that you require mocks you have a mocks or wait auto waiting how you can handle weight how what are the different weights available so you get all the examples you can click on it and then you'll have the detailed documentation so search is where you will be going to use heavily start you know searching and finding your solutions available here so i think yeah that's all about the documentations uh, start getting you know used to it go through explore see what options it has to offer if you feel somewhere something is missing or something is not up to date you can always raise the issue and and then get it updated or you can contribute yourself to you know uh, fix that and update the documentation um, as well yeah that's all for the video thank you so much